Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I am currently on board this passenger train here between Walsall and Petersfield uh, and we are just about to arrive at Petersfield. If I spin the camera around you can see that's very good timing in fact. We're just about to cross the, uh, the crossover here and into the station. Um, we have two passenger trains now on this line between Walsall and Petersfield and we have two goods trains as well. Although I'm tempted to bump that up to three, maybe, but I don't want to make that promise, excuse me, just yet, because there is a chance that it might not happen. Um, also, I'm just looking at the, sorry, I saw the ink line here on this, that's just awful, we'll have to rebuild that at some point. Uh, I had some ideas for things to do in today's episode, one of which, of course, is going to involve hooking up uh, Ilchester down here. Uh, we will have to take it one stop further, I reckon, just to uh, to justify it. Also, uh, we have more passengers here waiting than can be carried on this train, which is good. One thing I did do between episodes very briefly was just connect up this bus service, because I realised this is the residential part of the town here. We'd hooked up the uh, industrial part, which is fine for when you're dropping off goods and stuff, but not so good when you're picking up passengers. So now if I go here, we've actually got people leaving Petersfield and travelling uh, to and from. Uh, the town, which is really cool. So yes, today we're going to hook up Ilchester, and then we're going to probably run one stop further to Tring, if not, continue down to Stocksbridge and maybe even Lower Stoft. Uh, how this is going to work, I don't know. We might have to go a bit more direct. I don't, I don't know. But I am going to start off by building this railway bridge here over the river because I think that is a very good place to start so I don't think parallel tracks is going to let me do this but you never know uh, that's a notification of something or other no idea what if I could build this straight and flat that would be perfect so we could just build it like this that's on a slight curve which I don't want there we go uh, ignore the fact it says collision right now I can fix that, I believe, just by switching type, maybe? No? Oh, there you go. Um, what have we got that is grand? There is that, but there's not much room really for boats to go underneath. Uh, then you've got these ones which have no supports. We could go with something like this, which I think actually works quite well so we're gonna go with that it's not the grandest looking bridge but it does the job and that's the main thing here there we go now before I do anything else I do just kind of want to create a target over here at Ilchester now I said that we're gonna build the station in this gap and I stick by that so uh, this is gonna be quite an expensive build purely because of the um, the amount of destruction we're about to do here I was wondering if I could build it elevated and then bridge over the uh, the road here. We could theoretically do that if I was to landscape here. Is it worth it though? There's only one way really to find out. That's F1 Esports. That's what that notification was. Which has actually been pretty entertaining so far this year. There's been a couple of upsets. Um, which is always fun. By the time this video goes out, though, I think F1 Esports will, uh, well, for this month at least, will certainly be over, if not for the entire year. So if I use the flatten tool, that's that looks a little too high now. So it's not so much this side of things, it's how do I get it back down on this side of things. Hmm. And then there's also, like, hooking up uh, hooking up the um, the road and things like that, which I think is probably going to end up being on this side. I don't know. What I do know is I do want to. What's that? I don't know. Drop this down slightly. Wow, we got literally no no money right now. If I was to grab like this here as a point, I'm not going to take out a loan to do this because that's stupid. Let's go with this. Yup, and again, money. 
This is going to be one of those really expensive mistakes again, I, th I feel. The fact that we are dipping into the negatives. I did do a, a look just now, because I was wondering why we weren't making as much money as we were before. And the answer is, some of these lines here especially, uh, were getting really clogged up. So I've tried to alleviate that as best I can. You can see they're starting to make money again now. Um, this line here is doing very well. If we can afford another train. In fact, we've got this new loco as well. Um, if we can afford another train, I think it's going to have to go on this line. Because that's by far our, our biggest earner. Um, these new lines... Actually, this is the new line. This is the old passenger line, which is making us no money right now. Which is interesting. Um, and these ones, it's purely traffic that's, that's holding us back right now. You can see there, actually. This queue here is what's holding us back. I scooch over. This is where the problems lie. So, um, there is no easy solution to this, though. It is literally, you know, we've got so many vehicles. The, we could add a second drop-off, actually, to be fair, for the coal, which comes in from this side. So, maybe if I was to do that with some of the money that we've got here, that would be a good way to spend some money. Let's do something. Oops. I was to build this out like this uh, and then from here to build a curve like so and then we'll stick you there park lane and we'll get rid of that stop there we go now, the steel line is going to use this road here as well, which I guess is fine. But this should alleviate some of the traffic a little bit. So now it's iron ore only that drops off here, and then it's coal only that drops off here. What we're doing with this slag that's being generated, I don't know. I don't know if there is any slag right now, actually, to be fair. So maybe we're all right on that one too. Or maybe there's no slag being generated right now because we're not carrying slag anywhere. Similar problem over here. You can see there's a little bit of a... It's not quite traffic yet, but it's bunching up. And we have got buses along here as well, which are being held up as well. But right now, it's fine. Uh, although this is busy as well. Yeah, again, it's just waiting to scooch around. What is it? It's oil. I mean, that's somewhat fixable as well, I suppose. If we just go that and if we were to grab number two and do this that's one way to fix it it's not the easiest way or the best way necessarily but it's a way to fix it and if we upgrade this road as well just to split the traffic a little bit more there you go already there's one you're heading to Moulton Branch, which is that one. So actually, you're heading in a very weird... Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Alright, yep, fine, whatever. Back to Ilchester. Back to this ugly mess that I've created over here. So if I, yeah, max out this, and if I make it square-shaped, should we get a fair amount done? Yeah, because the money's coming in again now. Look at that. I was saying that. We have just run out again. We need to lift this up by a smidge more. Any second now, we'll have the money come in again. There we go. Let's just speed up time. This is always the, the painful part in this game, is the waiting. How do you rotate? I don't know. Yeah, we just need to lift it up like a tiny bit more. And then we'll have... Is that the right height, would you say? I I think this is going to be as good as it's going to get, to be honest. And then, yeah, we'll just level it out from here. My God, that's a lot of money I've just spent. A million quid. Uh, so yeah, we can still hook up to this truck stop. I reckon if we had a road that went along here and then up to the station building, wherever that might be, 
Um, that would be one way of doing it. Again, I think I've just bankrupted the company, which is great. Uh, what else could we hook up here? There's this. If we could get some steel down here. We've got plastic coming in from here. So we could have a second plastic line here. Or we bring some oil down from somewhere. Uh, steel could come from over there. But I think, again, train it down. Have a truck, take it back, that kind of thing. That could work well. I think we're buying new vehicles at the same time here as well. That's something else that's messing us up. If I just remove that for a second. There we are. Come on. This is, yeah, as I said, it's the most painful part of the game. It's just the waiting for money to trickle in. This is why time-lapsing this game is, is not the worst idea. But I like playing it live, you know. It's fun. Um, so what? one thing, I'll talk about the, the actual station design here. So just like with Petersfield, um, we're going to have another branch that goes off this way that then heads over to Seaton. So Petersfield's going to be a big station and also Ilchester is going to be a big station because Ilchester's already a pretty big town. We've not even got buses and stuff running around it right now. Um, now this is a bit of a choke point here, this bridge, so there might end up being a second bridge here, which means there'll just be random track in the middle here. A bit like what we had with Richmond on the last map, but hopefully better implemented, but I mean that's me saying that. We all know that just because I've said it doesn't make it true. This is definitely the right, um, the right size now, and I, I would imagine the right height too, it appears to be. I'm going to build this station here, and then the track coming out of it to the south will be on a slight curve. Um, and that should give me enough room to build approach roads and things like that as well. There we go. So I might even make this station bigger than um, Petersfield, purely because of the number of... Oh wow, I haven't even got money to build tracks right now. Purely because of the number of trains I feel we're going to, are going to end up coming through here. I also want to have room here to extend in the future. So obviously southwards is probably not going to be the case. So we'll have to be able to extend northwards. Me oh my. Come on. There we are. These are more expensive for sure. Uh... So yeah, I think here, I'm basically going to do something similar to Petersfield, but I think I might, I don't know, <laughs> to put it quite honestly, I don't know. I think we're going to do something like this, and then we're going to go another set of tracks like this, and then platforms, we're going to have some... Whoops. Some goods platforms like so. And then we're going to have another set of goods platforms. Because again, I feel like it's going to be quite a busy... And then... Like this. And then a passenger platform. some oops, ran out of money briefly there we go like so and then another set of passenger platforms I think that's gonna be it for now but again we've got room to expand in the future which is good uh, both to the east and to the north which is useful and I think yeah this would be Plenty to start with. Let's slow down time again, just so we don't end up with loads of money. So you're going to be Ilchester Central. We will call you that. Uh, you are going to be Ilchester Freight. There. I need to get a road up to the station here that looks somewhat natural. 
and ideally a bus stop as well. So I think this. And then you're going to come down and around like that. And then this side. I mean, that's the question. Do we have something this side? Or do we just make this... What the hell's happened there? Do we just make this... Um, what on earth? That is flat. It just doesn't look it. So weird. I think it's on a curve. That's why. So if I did that... Yeah, that looks better. Um, I might just have this be a dead end, you know? I could do that. But that looks weird. So I think I might just have this as a dead end. And we'll put a bus stop at the top. If I was to do two and two, would that fit? It would. Just. Let's go with that. Like this. There we go. Oh, hello game. We are working. That's fine. Cool. So yeah, that's now connected up. Now if I select you, yeah, you're not connected up. So I do need to build another little road here if I can. That does now hook it up. Excellent. So I imagine buses will end up using this road as well. Trams, I'm going to focus on this one if I do end up adding trams to Ilchester. I have no idea if that's the case or not. Now we need to work out how on earth I'm going to get tracks in and out of here. So I think for this side at least... If I was to do something like this... there and hopefully can get across no that's actually quite annoying hang on might still be able to do it might just be that I built that too close no well actually that is quite annoying should be salvageable. Let's just speed up time a little bit again. Just need to sever this road basically for a sec. Just to say that. Need half a million to do this side. Come on. Come on. Come on game. Right. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. See here's a problem that we have now is it's going to keep trying to build it's going to keep trying to build this road so first of all we need to add this road in and I'm going to future proof it by building it like this I'm going to have it drop down and I had this problem at Richmond so yeah 129 grand and this Hopefully will be enough to stop it from I'm actually not too happy with this bit either, but if I can get these first tracks in at least then I know that you know This is a working thing There we go and sure enough we appear to be working now, which is great. Let's go with the red. I like the red one. There we are, and then here we're going to start sloping back down towards the ground. And again, we'll stick it on a nice long curve, like so. Now, Already I'm spotting another problem, which is, I mean, I, I yeah, no, we can make this work. It's fine. Uh, let me just continue the game. That, going to have to go wherever that is. So 
you can snake across like this. Or can you? No. Yes? You do work. If I was to build you out like this. Sure. And then you would work too. Bridge pillar collision. That's fine. We'll build you like that as well. Nice. And then these two will have to do basically the same thing except, yeah, there's the problem. We have the collision again. So, uh, already I'm starting to regret the way I've built this station. So this, this side, this side's going to be easy too. It's just a case of doing this. Like so. I need 85 grand, 86 grand, whatever. Let's get that in, which we do now have. So yeah, all this side here is fine. The bit I'm not happy with is from this section here to the east. I think my solution will be to take out this freight platform just have these two central tracks here be the freight ones but yeah either that or I have these tracks here be the main passenger lines with the freight lines diverging off which is very much a thing that I could do see there is a collision right the way up to there that's quite a speed drop and there's no chance of getting a line yeah, not a Scooby. I'm getting a line across there. So, I guess here. Maybe we have this as a branch or something that just goes off in its own direction. Either that or we do just sever these streets. So, I, I feel like this whole street here can go. But, yeah. It's going to kind of just mess around with things a little bit. There is also the fact that the line I think will split here as well with some going to, to one going to Tring, sorry, and then down to Ampt Hill and Woking, and the other one going across to Stocksbridge and Lowestoft. So there's there's scope there. I think these five passenger platforms here though are more than enough for what I'm planning on doing today. So I'm just gonna for now progress with what we've got here have this as our main line that we're connecting up today and that's the really long roundabout way of saying yeah what I'm working on here is fine still we we'll do that which we need a little bit more money for and there it is cool so these these other lines here if I was to grab this one and again, it's going to be a similar thing. Crossover into station. And this side, something similar. There we go. And then take that, cut it back. Scissor crossovers are amazing for the most part. Not necessarily realistic here, but then the diamond crossing at Newcastle. Newcastle East Junction, I think it was, was, ah, yeah. you got to see pictures of it to believe it existed, to be honest. Um, actually, this is great, except it's not quite what I needed. Yeah, station designs, man, are just, they're so freaking hard. All right, new plan. And I'm, this might be, if this design works, this is going to be what I end up doing for... Uh, southern side as well. Let's just get rid of all this. Pretend this doesn't exist. We might have to end up building some of this on embankments and stuff, which is going to be pricey, but you can already tell. If we can get a decent rail service down here to Ilchester, this will be so worth it. And I'm going to do something similar. We don't need to build south right now. This will be something... I'd probably end up doing this on camera, to be honest, just because it's I can already tell it's going to frustrate the hell out of me.
Okay. So basically, the two central tracks I feel are going to be this one here and this one here. So if I was to grab this one and just drag it straight out and around like this, and we're going to have it level the whole way. Cool. This one is going to do the same, but it's going to come out like this. Cool. And then here, we're going to have like a ladder effect where tracks are slowly going to work their way in to this central thing. But I think we are going to have like a four track approach here. So let's say this one is also going to come out like this. And this one here, I don't know where that one's going to come from. Maybe we will add another couple of passenger platforms on the uh, eastern side. But now what we can do is consolidate these into two. And again, we're just going to keep the track flat. It's going to be on embankments. Pretty much up to the bridge. Which is expensive, but I still think worth it. So again, you can see how much this is going to cost. But, you know, Ilchester, big station, big town going to be pretty grand. Turn that off. So yeah, here for a period it's going to go along like this. Oh, hello. There we go. And then at this stage here, you're going to come in like this. You're going to come in like that. That's going to be one set of crossovers. The other set is going to come off like this. And it's going to carry on straight for a little bit here. And then I think around this point here, it's going to scooch out. Slow down time again for a little bit. And you can just come along like this. And you're going to come all the way along like that. Okay. Okay. Now, this track here is obviously going to join up with this one. These two are going to run out. Can I not get you to snap to that one? Apparently not. If I was to get you to do that, though, then I can probably do it. There we are. Uh, oops. So you're going to come across just again looking to see how I can do this I think you're going to go like that and then you're going to go like this and then here again it's going to be a bit like a ladder so you're just going to go across like that you're going to go across like that and then here, you're going to go across like this and like this. And do we do one more? Mm, maybe. I feel like already, though, this is wrong. Because I didn't really look how much space I had to do this. Go back and try again. So yeah, here, I kind of want this one to come in like that. And then you run alongside to there. And then here, you run across like that. And you run along like this. Uh, and then you run along. Here, we could just do a double, actually. Which is fine. So like this, and you will run across like this. Yeah. That's fine. And then if we do split these lines in the future, these left-hand two will be the two that go up to Petersfield, and the right-hand two will be the ones that head towards Seaton. I think for now, this is kind of good. We do need to get across from here. So I reckon if I did that, and then somewhere along here, oh, 
Ah, oh, damn it. I genuinely thought then that was going to work. So yeah, from these platforms, you can't actually get across. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't know what that's still up for. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing. So I think here, signal-wise, one way, yes. Auto-sig, no. And we're going to go one there, one there. And then on this side, one there, one there. That should be fine. Signals here, we don't need any. I feel like we could add some more crossovers here, though, but I don't know why we would do that. I suppose for the freight, we could add a scissors here, or at least one from... from this side up. Maybe even a double. Like that. So we have one, two, three freight platforms, which is actually one less than I thought. That might explain why it wasn't quite working how I anticipated, because we're supposed to have two tracks here, not one, but never mind. Alrighty, let's, let's call this done for this design for now. Um, we have got the extra crossovers here as well, of course, which again I'd forgotten about. So I guess we still, I don't think we need these two now, actually. So we can get rid of those, which is nice. All right, auto sig, yes, please. Build you there. Head over here, and actually, that's not the worst placement. Um, if we come to here and do this, we might actually be able to get away with having that exit signal there, but I won't push my luck right now. Yeah, signal there, and then it goes two tracks here and into Ilchester. Cool. Now, Ilchester does need the uh, the bus route, which we'll sell in a minute. I'm going to pause this quickly. How much is that going to cost? Ah, I got it just at the wrong time. If I can get up to about 3 million in the next, like, five minutes, then I will... Um, do this street reconfiguration that I want to do just so I can get the southern approaches in. This is basically this street here, this street here, this street here, this one here, and then this one again, just to build this out longer. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm also tempted to extend from Petersfield up here, but I think I will have it as a separate line. We will go to Tring. It's just a question of then, is it Stocksbridge or is it Ampt Hill? I think it is going to be... That's a real... That's a real conundrum, that one, actually. All right, we're coming up to three million. There we go. Right, quickly. Bulldoze you, bulldoze you, bulldoze you, bulldoze you, you, and you. Those should be in line, and they are, which is fantastic. I'm actually going to upgrade this fully now. I'm going to keep you flat for a little bit longer, and now you're going to pop up like so, and then here, you're going to go in like that. Cool, and we got money to burn, which is great. So yeah, now this approach, I guess we're going to do something similar, where this line here is going to be the main one out uh, for, wait one sec, so let's, I guess we build it out and f straight to start with. Because this doesn't really work. That works. We'll do that. And then from here, we'll go across flat. And actually, I think we will go with the green. I kind of like the green more. I feel like it's still a little too... There we are. Now we'll go with the green. Sweet. And then we'll keep going around again. 
you can easily be an embankment. No worries there. Good stuff. This one then, we can come out like this. And actually there. Yeah, look at that. Nice. These ones. I don't know why I've... That's, that does look weird the way I feel that. you a fan of that. That's cool though, because I can just do this and it would be fine. So these these two can come out and again you'll level the whole way across. Build you out to here. And now across. So, and I'll fix the other bit in a minute. From here, I do actually need you. Uh, right, let's do this bit first. And then, yeah, from here, we need you to connect up like that. And like that. And then you're going to go to there. You're going to go to there. And already I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> so we've got the four tracks again. Which is fine. I think we are going to split these up a little bit here. But not just yet. So again, if I can keep these. Actually, if I could build it from here in to there have you like that that does actually work surprise surprise and I am genuinely surprised sweet so yeah here I do actually want like a double crossover on this side and then the same thing on the other side if I was to continue building this out, I guess we can continue curving it this way for now. Again, this is getting mighty expensive, building all this. I guess Ilchester has got quite a lot of uh, rebuilding to do now to make up for all the destruction that I've just uh, brought upon it. There we go. And these freight lines are going to continue this way as well. There we are. Right. Turn that off for a second. Because here, you're going to come across like this. And like this. Cool. And then here... These two are going to continue in this direction. So again, it's like a big curve at this point. Uh, and I can start turning that off, I think. Let's just do this. Uh, and then, yeah, here. Roughly level with this, I suppose. We're going to have another... Oh, wait, sorry. Roughly level... I guess it's going to have to be with this one. We're going to have another set of crossovers... Except these two crossovers are actually, for now at least, the end of the line. Damn auto save. Actually, no. Yeah, I am kind of happy with the way I've done this. Because the freight tracks need to get across as well. So let's, let's do this. Um, so yeah, these freight tracks, we could just do it like this, but I think this is quite boring as a set of crossovers, but then it might be necessary to do it like this. I don't know why it's not letting me do it in one direction, but it is in the other, but yeah, something like this, so that freight trains can now access... 
Uh, actually, still no. I do need another set of crossovers. Maybe I've d built these the wrong way around? No? In that case, hang on. This is, again, it's quite complicated because I'm trying to like picture it in my head. Let's just do this and we'll connect these up again. I had a really cool suggestion actually in the comments from uh, from someone recently. I, I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. But the idea was basically to have like little industrial branch lines as well, connecting some of the industries up to um, like junction stations, and then from those junction stations have um, you know big bigger freight trains taking the goods onward. So like having a little colliery branch line and stuff like that. I'm a massive fan of that idea. That's a really really good idea. Um, I wish I could remember who suggested it. So yeah, I was a huge fan of that. That was a really cool suggestion. Right, if I can get this line to here. That does work, which is fine. Now, if I could yeah, get that back and then you hopefully can join into this line. Yes. And then if I can join this one here. It's a very tight fit, but for now it does work, which means technically right now uh, we need one more set of crossovers here, but it does mean that all of these lines are now connected, which is good news. I was just to carry this out a little bit further. That flat, there we are. Um, so yeah, from here we need another set of crossovers like this and then from here somewhere we need a set of crossovers if I can cut this back yeah like this and then you will come in like that it's a massive and somewhat unnecessary junction but it does achieve what I wanted it to achieve and I could probably consolidate it a little bit more in this area so it just about avoids again I could probably get it a little bit closer if I was to do it like this there. That's pretty good. And then again on this side. See already the road is it's trying. It is trying to connect up. Again, cause problems. I get this at 50. Actually it's the, the actual turnouts themselves that need to be 50. There we go. And you to there. And then this whole section here can be brought in as well. Just to tidy this whole thing up a little bit more. Make it a little more efficient, you know. I want to do that. And then you would come across like so. Whew. Okay. That was a really long winded way of doing this and to be honest the junction on the north doesn't even reflect the junction on the south now but once we've got the extra crossovers and stuff in I think it would I think it would work a lot better but yeah this is fine <laughs> this is absolutely fine main thing is for the most part at least uh, I do need to add uh, a couple of extra crossovers one there and possibly the same Yeah, on this side. I don't know what's happening on this one. Does that work? Can it get to... Can't quite, so I'm going to need one more crossover here, which is fine. And I probably will need one more on this side too, which is also fine. 
Cool. Yeah, now you can head back down to ground level. So where do I want you to go? I guess this is going to be the Tring line. And this one here is going to be the Amp Till line. And I really, I didn't notice this, my little plateau peninsula thing that we had here, but that's kind of cool. So yeah, we're going to head up to Tring, Stocksbridge, Lowestoft. Or does this line here head over towards Richmond? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be junction upon junction upon junction again, which is totally fine. We can get away with that. And, I, I, you know, we've got so much money to burn right now. It, it barely matters anyway. Uh, it's this one track which looks like that. Which I guess is okay. What is the difference? Okay. Yeah. Now we want two tracks. Like so. And again, you just got to remember how long these gaps are between towns and stuff so we're not running along the water's edge anymore so stations can be a little bit a little bit more liberally designed I suppose where's the line coming in from it's coming in from there so I kind of want us to build across and around like this Keep the speed up at 75. Obviously we want that. And then here we want the station like this. And then track like this. Platforms again, like that, and then miscellaneous. We want the underpass, and we want shelters. There we are. Now, I believe I will be able to get this out and over to here at the same running speed. Yes, perfect. Uh, that crossing is not what I wanted. That one's got a bit skewed with now as well, which is a weird. I guess that's fine. You can change these actually just by clicking on them like that. Oh, I see what's happened here. It's the footpath. I think there's a footpath gap in there. So if I was to upgrade this road. Okay, now I'm confused. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm just going to rebuild all of this. Start again. If in doubt, start again. there and you are going to be like that and then this one is going to come out and around and join up and there you go so it doesn't quite hit the same speed although saying that I don't actually know where the next oh we're heading towards lower stuff aren't we in Stocksbridge so we're actually curving after this section here we're actually curving this way again There we are. Now, it works. Cool. Right, yeah. Let's, uh, I've, I've spent way too long building all this and I'm already over time. So we need to just get this hooked up now. Do the really lazy method here. I'm going to build a temporary crossover, scissors crossover here. This will eventually be uh, continuous. I'm going to do you and remove that signal. So 
again, that's almost spot on. Uh, that's not spot on, though. That's going to be too... I know. That's actually spot on as well. What were the chances of that? Pretty low, if you ask me. I feel like putting a depot around this area as well. But I wouldn't know where to... Maybe here, if we built that across. But then, I don't know. I feel like it'd be a good spot for a depot, but at the same time, it wouldn't, you know? But yeah, Petersfield is now hooked up to Ilchester, which is now hooked up to Tring. Tring itself, the actual town of Tring, needs to be hooked up to the railway station still. Which we can, we can do now. Tring's a very nice town, by the way. I've been there uh, quite recently. Went to the Natural History Museum Annex there. It's, uh, it's very well done. Sounded better in my head that it came out quite patronising. But yeah, no, it is a really nice. Uh, the Natural History Museum, anyway, is one of my personal favourites, and to get to experience it uh, in London is one thing. But to also be able to go out and see the uh, the I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. You know what I mean, though. Go to to actually go see it in Tring as well. They got some very interesting displays there. It's not as big and grandiose as the one in London. Um, there are some things that you will see in London that aren't in Tring, for example, but it's still a very, very um, educational place to go, and I do recommend it. All right, I think I've talked enough rubbish for one episode. So yeah, we've got this choke point here still, which I think at the end of the day is going to be fine. How this is going to work, I don't know. I think the best way to do it would be to upgrade this now. Like so. And then I'll build some crossroads in here. This section here, where does it actually start sloping up again? I think it's past this point. So I could build a street here and connect you up. And could also build a street here. And this one here can go straight across and connect up over there, which is fine. Um, so yeah, in terms of the bus route, I think it's going to be start here, head down this way, stop there, stop down here, head under the railway and stop here, and then come around and stop over here and then head back. This is going to be Ilchester bus station, which is going to be connected to the railway station. we go and these are already named yep Manchester Central and so on so if we get a new line here like so uh, it's not quite looped how I wanted it to but never mind you are Ilchester bus paint you red there we are and we can get that vehicle running now in fact game thank you Just a bus. Good stuff. So Ilchester now. We should be seeing people, yeah, traveling around Ilchester at least. We can also do the same thing down here with Tring, which again is already hooked up, which is good. So here we can go, uh, not there, sorry. We can go here, here, and here. And you are Tring bus. Like so. And again, we can get this bus operating now. Good stuff. Again, it might start working now. It might take a little second or two. Um, and then the final piece of the puzzle is from Petersfield here. We want a new line. Goes from Petersfield through Ilchester to Tring and back. Now, right now, so at Petersfield, I think platform one is actually fine. Yes, platform one is fine, but we'll have two, oops, 
as a backup. There we go. At Ilchester, it is kind of working as I wanted it to. Even with the crossover here. Although it's using the single crossover. But again, that's not the end of the world. So Ilchester, I want it to be platform 8. With 6 as the backup here. And then on the way back, I want it to be platform 1 with 2 as the backup. And now you can see how it actually functions. Yeah, although... Uh, yeah, no, I guess that's fine. It does kind of go... Actually, yeah, so on the way back, sorry, it's going to go 1 with 3 as the backup, not 2. So yeah, now you can see how it's actually functional. The only thing I don't like is over here, where it's kind of... Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then at Tring, we'll have you just stop at 1 with two as the backup. You are then Petersfield to Tring uh, Pass and you are Rail. And yeah, you're going to be green. Cool. And then another new line. This is going to be the Freight. So we're going to start here again at Petersfield, which uh I guess we don't actually have the freight back up on this one. But yeah, we're going to do it like that. And then down to Ilchester. And then in between, Tring. So yeah, Tring again. One with two as a backup. That's fine. Ilchester then. Let's see what you're doing here. So, right now, you're running through. So, if I put you on one on the way back, yeah, with two as a backup. And I guess you're going to be three with four as a backup. So, this center line is bi directional, which is fine. That's part of the plan as well. Or is it? Actually, you're four. With three as the backup. There we go. Now I think that's better. So it should be here they're running in the same direction. Here it's bi-directional. And then, yeah. Cool. And you are Petersfield. Help if I can spell Petersfield. Petersfield to Tring. Mixed. And again, rail. Sweet. And we'll paint you the right colour, which is... I want to say that one. I think it is that one. Which is nice. I'm looking forward to delivering goods and stuff over to here as well. That's going to be awesome. Just here, I wanted to add... So I didn't do it at either end. Which is bad. There we are. Uh, and now, I need to be able to afford a train. Which is going to be interesting. Because so I do feel like I need a depot somewhere. Maybe down at Tring quickly connect up a depot. If I was to do something like... Yeah, that doesn't work, does it? Maybe branch it off here. Does that move that barrier? Yes. The only downside is it does create no clearance there whatsoever. But if it means I can do this, then I guess it's money well spent. Now we have got new locos now. I want to see how much they cost. It's significantly more. But we'll go with it. And in terms of passenger wagons, we do have larger ones as well. 2531. I think we're going to have to go with these. One and a half mil. That's a lot of money. But yeah, you're going to go Petersfield to Tring Pass. Oop. Let's go cargo. Ah, 
That's the question. I can't actually remember. Well, let's also see if this is now. Stocksbridge, Ilche uh, Ilchester. There you go. So we have got people looking to travel. Nice. I'm going to keep an eye on this. See if it does keep going up. Again, I'll just pin you for a second. Uh, I need to remember what wagons we've got. And as if by magic. Do I really have to do it this way? Uh, not that one, sorry. Uh, this way. So what are you? You are that one, I guess. Which is quite expensive, but you do hold basically everything. That might be why. Yeah, costs a lot of money. So it's the British four plank open long wagon. That's what I believe we've got here. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Get one of those then. So it was one of these. And then. Six of those, I'm going to say. And there we go. See, so yeah, I look, Petersfield, Ilchester again, that number is going up. So, what was it we had right now around Tring, actually? We don't really have anything. Tools can be delivered here, though, so tools might make their way down. Fast to go suppliers. Might be a bit too far away. That's the thing. But Ilchester now should have suppliers. Yep. Ilchester Goods Factory and Banbury Goods Factory. Petersfield. Uh, sorry, suppliers. So Banbury Goods Factory. Ilchester. Whichever one it is. This one here. That might kick up soon. Right now it's still just Ilchester. It is delivered there, and that is connected. So maybe that will start going up at some point. Because you are connected as well. And I believe you can carry... Goods. Yep. So yeah, it's just a matter of time, I suppose. I'm going to keep an eye on that tools one, though. Because that could be a good... Lucrative... Uh, commodity to transport. My god, look at the traffic. This is insane, by the way. This is unsustainable uh, how much traffic we've got down here. And that's going to cost us a significant amount of money if I'm not careful. Hey, look, tools here. Oh, I have no idea where they come from. So it's, it comes from Wals It goes to Walsall, sorry. So suppliers. Swandicoat. Swaddling coat. Tools factory. So yeah, Stockport and Walsall right now. But hopefully, eventually, uh, Tring will get added to that list. We shall see. But for now, it's been over an hour. I've gone way over time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below. Give me ideas for future episodes. Give me some feedback on the current episodes, all that good stuff. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Very much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, and until next time, I will see you soon.